In this video, we're going to go through five things that you should know about RuneScape. They're just super useful to know about. They can become really convenient. And they're little things that you probably wouldn't have known all of them. So let's get started. We're going to start off with a pretty cool necromancy tip, which I think is pretty damn nice to know. It could be useful at places like Zook. It could be useful in Slayer. It could be useful in quite a few different places. And that is knowing that if you use the invoke death ability, which is the one that will actually apply the death mark uh, at like debuff to the target, the one that insta kills them if they drop below a certain amount of their health or 20% or whatever, you can actually apply this to everything around you by using AOE attacks. So you can apply this to everything around you with Blood Siphon. So that'll apply it to all the different targets. Or you could use the Spectral Scythe ability as well. As long as you use the Invoke Death ability and then you use the next AOE attack, anything that that damage hits will actually take the, the death mark from the debuff as well. Meaning that in anything that has AOE, you can then fire off insta kill hits on everything around you once they've reached that threshold. It could save you just the, maybe like one extra AOE ability or something like that, but being able to add it to every single target is pretty damn useful for quite a few different places. Now, of course, the lower your target's health is, the less value this has, as it's a percentage of its like max health. But if you can use this on something that has quite high health and it's an AOE and you need to clear them all down, you may be able to just save yourself a little bit of time and just clear them off quite a bit easier by using maybe the Invoke Death ability, then the second version of Spectral Scythe. So you can spin around and hit everything in the area and they all just insta die as well. Okay, so next up is a tip that actually kind of drove me crazy for quite a while. Because when you're trying to bladed dive around instances, or not bladed dive even, even if you're just trying to use regular dive around certain places and bosses, it can be a real pain in the ass when this happens. So for example, I'm going to click my uh, keybind for dive here. And then if there's something in the environment that you can like kind of so the weapon rack over here, for example, or the armor rack, if you clicked this by accident, but like in a boss fight, any sort of thing that was examinable in an instance, uh, it, it just wouldn't work. Nothing would happen from it. You, you would just get nothing interesting happens and you would keep spamming your blade of dive and it, it just does nothing and it's really frustrating so if you didn't click like near the ground next to it uh which obviously we can't dive there anyway uh you you wouldn't actually be able to do anything because nothing interesting happens so what you can do is go into settings because after i complained about this in clan and someone was like i oh, just turn it off maybe so you go into settings you go to targeting and in here, um, under the combat action bar, targeting, and then gameplay, you, you've got this tick option here. Target scenery with target movement abilities, which is dive and bladed dive. So if you untick this, what's going to change is, see how you got the, before we had the bladed dive, uh, you use dive on the bank chest. Now when we click the icon, it's gone. There's, there's nothing else there. So if we click it, we just go to where we want to go. It just, it just works better. There's nothing weird about it. Like these wouldn't show up as well. And uh, once we get the, 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 the dive off pull down again, I'll show you. So we use this and then it disappears as soon as we press the key bind and we can just click it. Now it will show you targeted stuff if you can actually attack it. This is weird to me that there's any other way to have this because it makes total sense that you would only be able to use it on things that actually like are a combat thing because bladed dive does damage, right? Uh, and not anything else. So this is actually a hell of a lot better. Uh, it's so much more convenient. And if you if, if you've been bugging with this, if you accidentally like use bladed dive and click on something, or use regular dive and click on something, and it screws you over a little bit, toggle this off. Go back into settings, go to gameplay, combat and action bar, targeting, and untick this freaking box, man. I don't get why it's there. It's so annoying, but it's so much better to to not have to worry about it. Holy crap! Yeah, hopefully that helps. So just a quick reminder, as usual, for videos like this, is uh, guys, if you don't know that you can decant your potions noted at this guy in the Grand Exchange or someone at Wars and at the Max Guild, then please, please do. Also, by the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, if you've learned anything new, uh, do consider subscribing to the channel as over 55% of you guys aren't actually subbed to the channel that watch all the time. So I would appreciate it if you do. Anyway, on to the next one. This next tip is something that I really hope that most people know about, if I'm being honest. But if not, then you're about to get some free bank space. Now, if you go to the Solomon store as a member, you can actually get yourself four 50 bank boosters, like, for free. For completely free. So, in the Solomon store, there is a section that says free items for members. There's quite a lot of good things in here, and then it rotates. Every now and again, there'll be something new. As you can see, there's something there that I haven't actually claimed yet myself as well. Now, if you come in here and you haven't done this before, there's going to be four bank boosters that give you 50 slots each that you can claim straight away. So you can get yourself an extra 200. 
100 bank spaces for absolutely free. So if you are someone who is struggling for bank space and you haven't done this, well, this is probably why you're struggling for bank space. Other than the fact that your bank probably looks something like mine, it's a complete disgrace and really needs sorting out. But you should definitely pop in here now and again, maybe like once a month or something, and just check if there's anything else for free for you guys in here. Every now and again, there'll be like a new emote or a new override or something random that you can grab. But Whenever there is something that is really cool and really useful, sometimes there's like a legendary pet. I think there once was a legendary pet in here and the bank boosters and all this sort of stuff. Super useful. Take advantage of it. Don't miss out. And uh, let me know in the comments if you didn't have this, because I think if you didn't, then this is like one of the best tips in this whole video, right? So let me know. Talking of banks, actually, tip number four is going to be, is, you know, if your bank does look like this and you are looking like you're running out of bank space, uh, you can actually make yourself a bit more space quite, quite a bit easier. Down here, we have this where it says no filter. These are bank filters. They're pretty useful. So if you click this, you have many different things in here. Like you can filter out all the number and member items, all the member items, all the tradable stuff and non-tradable stuff and all your placeholders and whatnot, right? But the best one by far for me is this cleanup one. If you click the cleanup one, it's going to show you all the items that you can get rid of and that you can reclaim pretty easily or you just don't need at all anymore. As you see here, it says junk, items no longer needed. We will not need this bone key anymore. So we just click destroy, it's gone. There we go. Another bank space in our bank that we've got back nice and easy. Same goes for all of this stuff. Everything here from May's Quest Caravan can just, you can just go there and reclaim it. So destroy, 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 buy. Everything's gone. Cool. More bank spaces that we've got back and we don't have to worry about it. We know that that stuff is going to be in May's Caravan because sometimes you'll be like, oh, can I get rid of this? Will May have it? Will it be a pain in the ass for me to get back? No, it's fine. So the same here, all these holiday items that I'm never going to use and you know that you can get them back from Diango. So we'll just destroy everything in here. We're just going to spam click until it's all gone. And we just got ourselves back like 20 odd spaces already. Skilling outfits, you may want to keep some of these, but like the farming stuff, I'm not going to use for a long time. Uh, the divination outfit, I'm probably not going to use, I'm probably not going to use anything except the, the freaking herbal stuff. So we'll keep the botanist stuff and then everything else can just, can just go. Like the, the, you have to pay for that one, that's fine. I'll tell you if you have to pay for it. And uh, we'll keep the silver hawks and everything else can just goodbye cool so we just got ourselves back like 40 bank spaces nice and easy and we know that we can get everything back from here along with all this stuff too you can just you can just check it out um but our bank is now it's not okay but it, it helps a lot you know and then obviously when you got the empty spaces just change your tab and they'll fill back up again and you're all good oh man this bank is disgusting it is it is so <laughs> it's so bad oh my god okay let's move on Okay, so this next one that I'm going to show you guys is I'm actually changing it myself right now as well. This is this is so good and maybe I'm going to regret it, but I don't think so. Now, the max cape and as you know, gives you different perks, right? And you can you can organize the perks that are on here and they give you different things. For example, the defense cape is going to give me a free sign of life when it's not on cooldown. Yeah, so you get one every hour uh, and I use it every hour pretty much without PVM. Invention gives you bonus charge drain rate reduction so you don't use as much divine energy uh, and, and range gives you the increase your range ammunition special effect chance by 20%. So if you were using, say, for example, ruby bolts, you would be able to use that and and get the extra chance for it to proc right and the same goes for other stuff as well however right now if you're not using the, the 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 range one at all if that's the one that you had in there if there's one that you're not using a really cool one that i didn't know about is the hit points cape let me where the frick is it hit points cape oh my god we're gonna go buy it because i actually <laughs> don't want to have to move it but i'll show you anyway come to the mags guild and run up the stairs and talk to this person here trade ellen and we're going to buy a hit points cape. Now, the reason that we're going to do this is because the hit points cape doesn't actually just give you uh, the, the double base health regeneration. This is good, right? And it's still extra health regen. It's going to give you, uh, I believe it is 2% or 0.2% HP recovery every six seconds. So you're going to get a little bit of extra health regen while you're doing long fights. Probably helpful in places like Zuck, maybe, you know, a little bit of extra health. Cool. But my favorite thing about this actually is that if I put it in here, going to take out the range one nice yes remove it and then now we have to put the health cape in here yes okay what this is going to do is it's actually going to allow us to be in combat and still get our health back from the 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 the, 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 the bank chest so if we are in combat let me actually go and show you the guys this i'm going to go straight to uh let's go to solar and get beat living crap out by solar and i'm not going to edit this bit up it is what it is i'm going to show you guys 
and we're gonna just get beat up a little bit and we're gonna have a have a little chat here how you doing guys <laughs> right okay so we're in combat our health is out and normally you would have to make sure you're out of combat to come here you would use your prayer thing and then when you go to the bank you would have to be out of combat for it to fill up but because you have the health cape on your max cape you don't have to you can stay in combat and you can get straight back in you don't have to actually sit there and wait afk if you surge to this or anything like that to be able to get your health back it's really useful now you can do this with the fortitude uh curse as well but this is just more convenient you don't have to worry about it nice and easy uh so you get that and you also get the the bonus health regen if you're not using sgb if you're not using range at all you can swap this out it's pretty damn useful but yeah hopefully found that one useful as well Anyway, that brings us to the end of this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I actually did enjoy making this video, to be honest. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please do leave a like. Sub to the channel if you are new around here. Uh, I am going to be making a lot more content like this, probably, coming for the near future. The, the content just dropped off big time in game for me at the moment. So it is what it is. But I'm going to be also streaming some other games and stuff as well. So if you're interested, then let me know in the comments what you would like to see me play, your favorite game or whatever. Uh, and I'm going to be doing that on stream. I won't be doing any videos with it on this channel probably i don't know if i'm going to edit them up and put on a different channel but i'm going to stream it here uh, and then we'll just leave the videos the streams unlisted afterwards and it's fine we're gonna figure it out but anyway hopefully the video helped and i will catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye